What if I tell you that everything you read can stay in your brain like a movie scene? Have you ever wondered how you can remember a movie or an anime scene which you had watched months back? Like for example, you can vividly remember the Avengers Assemble scene where the Captain America holds the Mjolnir in his hand and says Avengers Assemble. Or if you are an anime lover, how vividly do you remember Tengen Uzui's fight scene? You can pictureize them vividly, right? You, even though you had watched these months back. But what about your video lectures or whatever you have studied two days back? You're preparing for your NEET PG or you're preparing for your INICT and you have gone through a video or you have gone through your notes. Can you remember them vividly after one week or after one month? No, right? You forget them and you need to read from the beginning if you want to understand the concept again. So this is what is happening with you guys. You study everything, but you forget them very soon. And to revise it, you need to go through it again. Let's suppose you had watched a video lecture of one hour or you had studied a topic for one hour. And one month later, when you go through that topic again, you would have forgotten everything. So you will again need one hour to revise the topic, whatever you have studied. So it's a waste, right? You've wasted your precious time. So this is what is happening with a lot of you guys. You are not able to retain whatever you have studied. You are not able to you know, recall whatever you have studied. Don't worry. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do active recall and use your photographic memory to remember whatever you have studied like a movie scene. Now, how do you actually do this active recall or how do you use photographic memory to revise whatever you have studied? Let me explain it using the movie and anime itself. When I asked you, do you remember the scene of Avengers Assemble? What did you remember first? Did you remember the key moment or did you remember the entire fight scene frame by frame? You just had to remember the key moment, right? And when you remembered the key moment, you knew what happened before, what happened after. And you could build that entire scene using that key moment. Like for example, in the Avengers Assemble scene, the key moment you remembered was Captain America calling the Mjolnir. And you know what happened after that, you didn't have to watch the movie again. Once you remembered that key frame, you started to build the motion in your brain yourself. Once you, once you visualize that scene, you know how this happened next, this happened next, this happened next. And what happened before that, right? And if like, you know, when in an anime scene, it was Tengen versus Gyutaro, you remember the scene when Tengen made his grand entrance. Gyutaro was almost to kill Tanjiro. Tengen made his grand entrance. So that's the key scene you remember and you know what happened next and you also know what happened before that. In the same way, you don't need to recall each and every word of whatever you have read. You just need to recall the key points of what you have read. And once you, you know, recall the key points, you, you know what's the surrounding concept behind that. That's how you need to start doing active recall. There are many different ways you can use this active recall. Some of you like to read the standard textbooks and make a concise notes or make point wise notes. And some of you, you know, like to highlight it in the book itself and some of you like to watch the video lectures and then make their own notes you need to decide for yourself which study styles to suits you better i like watching lectures and making my own notes so for example i am watching a video lecture on pneumothorax perhaps i watch the entire lecture and after the lecture i'll try to remember five key points which happened during the lecture so i'll close my eyes and i'll visualize what was the definition of pneumothorax how did it actually develop? What happens in tension pneumothorax? How do you actually treat it? And how do you diagnose a pneumothorax? And once you do this exercise, you don't have to go through the entire lecture the next time. After one month, when you try to revise pneumothorax, you just have to remember these five points. Try to recall these five points and try to, you know, answer these five points. Do you remember that the definition? If yes, then no need to read again. Do you remember how does it happen actually? You don't go through your notes. Okay. Now I remember. So you can either write these five key points or just remember. And when you come back for the revision, let's say after one month, you don't have to go through everything word by word. Or you don't have to watch the entire pneumothorax lecture. You don't have to waste one whole hour. What do you need to do? You just need to answer those five key points which you had made during your first time. Ask yourself these five questions. Do you remember all five? If yes, then you don't need revision. You are good enough with the topic. But if you can't answer one or two questions from that, you go through the notes quickly again. Just five minutes. Just quick revision of that concept, which you had learned, I think, one month back. So that's it. It hardly took you 10-15 minutes to revise a one-hour lecture. But I know this isn't how you revise. What you do, you complete everything and you don't go through it again in the same time. 
what's in your brain is just i need to complete the syllabus as soon as possible let's revise it when i complete everything and do my first revision it doesn't work like that you'll be wasting a lot of time during your first revision if you do not go through the topics then and there if you don't summarize the topic then and there or if you don't solve the mcq on the same day so after you watch the lecture you have made the five key points right now i want you to solve the mcqs immediately if not immediately you can take a break and solve it after 2 3 hours to check if you actually remember it better so now when you solve you actually apply those five concepts in solving the mcqs so you will understand the topic even better now because you have learned to apply whatever you have studied and that's the most important skill you need if you really want that good rank because what you guys do you read everything once and you solve the mcq later you would have forgotten the concept you can't even solve the mcq and you you know start stressing around i don't know anything i forgot no matter how many times i read i am not able to you know increase my gt scores and your active recall becomes even more powerful when you club it with photographic memory where did you learn the litany of spells required to even understand it i've got a photographic memory is how i got my md and phd at the same time you know you had made that notes and i want you to take a snapshot of that in your brain take a snapshot of the image take a snapshot of the words you had written so what happens is if you forget to recall you'll at least remember the words the diagram you had made or you had written or you had watched in the video so when you club these two powerful techniques in your study method you're going to be unstoppable believe me because you club these two and you read once you won't even forget this for 3 to 4 months if you incorporate these two study techniques in your routine you can answer any kind of question be it memory based be it concept based be it sequential arrangement type no matter how difficult the question is because now you remember you have that photograph in your brain you can actually close your eyes and look at the exact words which you have imprinted in your brain and this doesn't develop overnight let me tell you you need to train your brain day in and day out and if if you love watching animes you can relate this better you see how every character starts from a weak version they train their hardest to be to reach that level they didn't develop that overnight right this for example tanjiro developing his total concentration breathing did he develop that overnight or did he has had to go through all the struggles did he had to you know train every day without a break so that's how you develop a skill that's how you improve over the days but what most of you guys want you just want success overnight you just want you know a rapid revision notes so that you remember everything just by one read and clear the neat pg or inicet i'm sorry my friend it doesn't work like that you need to start treating studies as something fun something like a movie something really interesting because it is actually and what your mindset will be during study you will be stressed you will be you know i have to complete it soon i have to read so much in so less time i have to crack inicet i have to crack neat pg with this mindset you're only stressing yourself more and you're not gaining anything if you're so stressed during studies nothing goes inside your brain and when you actually try to revise it feels like new to you so you are even more stressed that even after studying i don't know anything so what i want you to do is start slow watch a lecture or read your notes and i want you to practice active recall it hardly takes 5 minutes let's suppose you have watched a video lecture for 1 hour pause the video take a short book and write five key points on the topic it will be difficult for you in the initial days but gradually you will train your brain to do that so you wrote five topics close it watch the next video you know read the next topic continue the same thing you already have a concise notes now right so when you come back to the revision just note go through that point wise notes of yours every topic you would have written five points right you just go through that five points and ask yourself do you know what the concept behind that point was if you remembered then well and good if you didn't then just go through the notes once take 5 10 minutes to you know revise the topic again and go to the next point so like this your revision will be quicker than the first time and on subsequent revisions you don't even need to you know refer your main notes you just go through those points and you start to recall everything you start to remember everything and for important scores and important diagrams i want you to use photographic memory watch that take a snapshot close the book and try to write whatever you remember or try to draw the exact diagram initially it will take some time for you but believe me after one or two months you just take a snapshot and you don't even have to you know redraw it you you can visualize the exact drawing in your brain so that's how powerful it becomes over over the months so that's what i had developed during my initial 6 and half to 7 months of my preparation phase 
that's how my revision became easy and i could easily recall everything during my exam and i secured a rank of 135 you need to have patience if you want to see that growth you can always start slow and build your basics and you know pick up pace slowly because this is not like a 100 meter dash this is a long marathon and if you run a marathon with full energy in the first phase itself you'll get tired and you'll give up so how do you actually run a marathon you start slow you run steadily over the course and it's the last phase where you'll accelerate and finish the marathon so that's how your strategy has to be you need to start slow you need to start gradually and build that momentum you need to train your brain to get used to whatever information you're feeding it and if you overload it in the initial days itself you're bound to give up in midway you can go and watch my lectures where i have tried to explain the concepts in really simple language so that you can remember it for a long time and it will be helpful for you to you know do active recall of the topics and please mention in the comments if you want me to make more such lecture videos and share this video to your friend who is also struggling to you know revise or recall the concepts so that's it for today please do subscribe because a lot of interesting videos are coming up thank you for watching